when Haiti was added to the African Union there were celebrations in pockets of the black community around the world many of us celebrated okay this was the culmination of the vision of African unity right the day that we re-establish ties with the continent okay the day that our brothers and sisters in the continent acknowledge us for who we are okay because although we were separated although we were separated by slavery okay although some of us are aware that we were sold for umbrellas we were sold for rings and chains and watches you know several of us were sold for one umbrella to the oppressor so that the oppressor could do whatever they wanted to do with us enslave us terrorize us kill us um, take away our knowledge of God take away our knowledge of our original language take away our knowledge of our people okay we were aware of this that some of our people would have assisted the colonizer in um actually enslaving us right so when haiti was welcomed into the african union with open arms there was a glimmer of hope there was the idea that you know what we are reversing what has taken place okay because after haiti was added to the african union I began to speak to some of my brothers and sisters and told them, look, we should advocate for the Bahamas to be added to the African Union because we are all Africans. Um, we are a part of the African diaspora. Although we are not continental Africans, we have solidarity with continental Africans. We have the same genes as continental Africans, right? So, you know, it was quite disheartening when it was revealed that Haiti actually had been removed from the African Union due to a clause in the Constitution, right? There was a clause in the Constitution that prohibited um, states that were not on the continent from actually being a part of the African Union, right? And the thing is, when Haiti was added in the first place, we knew that this was like a token move. We knew that it was almost like an honorary distinction. It was not like we actually live on the continent, all right? I live in the Bahamas, but it is not like, you know, due to the fact that we don't live there, uh, that we shouldn't be included, okay? This is the first step at repairing the damage that was done okay so it was quite disheartening to see that they would follow the constitution to the letter just to exclude a group of people right so the thing is if haiti was removed from the african union <clears throat> since 2016 why is the year of the return taking place in ghana you know i support the year of the return but I'm also aware that it is a U.S. government-sponsored initiative that Donald Trump himself would have signed and initiated, right? Prior to this year return, we were already aware that Ghana had a returnees ministry, which was already facilitating the movement of Africans from the diaspora into Africa and giving them land and title and so on and so forth. There were already Africans moving to Tanzania. There was already a whole state in Africa called Liberia, which is comprised of migrants from the West, right? So this year of the return is a new initiative, but I would just like to speak on the Haitian issue because when you do this to Haiti, I'm speaking to the African Union. When you do this to Haiti, you are also basically given a middle finger to the Bahamas right you just gave a middle finger to Jamaica you gave a middle finger to Barbados you gave a middle finger to Cuba Belize Guyana Antigua Barbuda Trinidad 
all right america you gave a middle finger to the africans in the uk all right when you did this because the haitian people are our brothers and sisters right africans on the continent are our brothers and sisters okay so when you exclude haiti you exclude the bahamas you are saying to me that i have no place there right so you cannot speak to me with two tongues on one hand you exclude haiti from the african union and then on the other hand you claim that uh, there's a returnees ministry that will allow us to come in or you claim that this is the year of the return so we should all get on board with this initiative which one is it are we africans or are we not africans okay is it not true that my parents ancestors came here on slave ships from the continent are there not records in nigeria and ghana and other parts of the continent where we would have left elmina slave castle okay is it not true that this took place okay are the countless relics of slavery in our region okay are the culture and traditions a lie is my phenotype a lie this is what i'm saying i mean when you make a decision like that it has far-reaching consequences it has a ripple effect all right so i want us to all petition not only for haiti to be reinstated but for also the caribbean and the other nations of the world to be included but people let me know your thoughts in the comments below one love